Hey, this is your curling lab. So here we go. All right, blah, blah, blah. It's a Canadian thing. You probably wouldn't understand. Um, so to make this easy, um, if you notice, if you're not exactly spot on, you get one of those things to happen, What you're going to end with but leave that for the end. Okay, I'm gonna click over here, it starts everything all over again. What I would do is lower that thing so there is no separation distance, and bam, you're right at zero. You'll see why here in a second. So notice we have an initial velocity of 2.68 meters per second and 12 kilograms. What you have to do is compare the beginning momentum to the ending momentum. So remember, momentum is mass times velocity, so know what you have ahead of time, okay? Um, so you'll probably want to write down, let me scribble this. Oh, there we go. Use the dark blue. So my mom momentum ahead of time before the collision, it's just going to be a 12 kilograms, it's a G, times the 2.68. That might disappear. That's why I'm writing it up here so I don't forget. Then I want to see how that compares the momentum um, after the collision. Um, so I'll start off with 12 kilograms and 12 kilograms, both the same mass. And the red speed, oh, red speed is 2.7 officially, not the 2.68, whatever. Anyway, so um, alrighty, so here we go. Now I want to see what the momentum is after the collision. So and bam, and see what happens. So your first trial can be the same mass, and that's fine. And you notice you got a 2.68, and then the mass is 12. Okay, maybe surprising, maybe that isn't. So that could be trial one. So for trial, oh, so for your data, show me what you're doing for your work so I can see what's going and your momentum afterwards. This has no momentum. The only had momentum was the other one over there. So that's a 12, oops, I'm not writing. Now I'm writing is a 12 kilograms for the yellow and it's going two point, oops, I forgot to do my 2.68 meters per second. That is pretty sloppy and horrible. Well, you'll get over it. And then find the mass and show how the beginning momentum compares the, the ending momentum. All right, so you have several more trials to do. So I want you to do it when the red one's less massive and more uh, massive than the yellow one and uh, repeat. So, um, let me get rid of my color thingy. Oh, in fact, let me erase all that. So that could be my data for my first trial, clear all drawings. And now I'm ready for a second trial and let's go with um, more massive on the red. So we got to click over here that resets. Let's see if I can go to 24. Huh? Yeah, I can. So now it's double the mass. What do you think is gonna happen this time, everybody? So get, go ahead and give it a whirl, click on it. Okay, so notice what you're starting out with. So now I have for a momentum of 24 kilo, oops, I'm not writing, 24 kilograms. And it's going 2.68 meters per second. So that's not a change. And compared to the what momentum we have after the collision. Okay, and let me stop this and click on the red. And bam, oh, there we go. Okay, so now it's a little complicated because now I have afterwards, I've got a 24, oops, I'm not writing. Now I have a 24 kilogram stone or whatever they call that thing. I don't know, I'm not Canadian. Um, going at 0.89 meters per second, but that's not all the momentum. We have some momentum left in the yellow. So I have to find, so that's a 12 kilograms um, times a 3.57. Okay, and I wanna know how this amount compares to that amount. Alrighty, so also do one where you change stuff up. Whereas, um, actually let me clear all my drawings there. So you can actually calculate both, alrighty. Um, so I'm going to click over here, restart, and remember I want a less massive red. Oh, 10, I want it to be dramatic. I'm going to make it a 20 over here, so the yellow is going to be a lot bigger. You can do whatever you want, it's your deal. 
and I could change the red speed if I want to. I don't have to keep it the same. Maybe that'll be another trial I'll try. Um, so I'm starting out at 10 kilograms. So I want to make sure I note on my data that I have a 10 kilogram um, slug, whatever they call that, stone. There it is. It's a stone going at 2.68 meters per second. Yellow's not moving, so that's no momentum whatsoever. So I've been skipping drawing it because there's what's the point? Now compare it to the after effects. All right, let's check out the after effects. Um, and bam, clicked on the redstone and boo, oh, that's different. All righty, so now afterwards, I still have the red and a yowly cat outside the door. Um, so it's the 10 kilograms for the red mass, but here's where you to be careful. It's going in the negative directions. What can I do for you, stupid? Um, that'll shut them up. And so then the velocity, you notice it's 180 degrees, that's backwards. So if I'm cause, calling to the right positive, this is backwards, that means it's negative velocity. So this is times a negative 0.89 meters per second. And now the yellow one over there, that's the 20 kilograms, that's skating along at a speed of 1.79, yep, 1.79, okay, um, meters per second. How does the momentum before compare to the momentum afterwards? Okay, and maybe I'm gonna repeat the same thing, but at a different speed. So let me clear all my drawings, get rid of that. Maybe the cat needs to be curled, huh? We're gonna be a curling thing, okay? You're ready to play some curling? You're gonna be do some curling here and you're not in the ice, are you? All right, out the door then. Curling old Albert right out the door. All righty, so, um, so maybe I'm changing the speed this time. Okay, I forgot to erase. Clear all my drawings, erasing that thing and Starting over, but oh, I'm changing the speed, aren't I? Oh, I click here to reset. See how massive I can go, the speed. Look at that, five meters per second. You guys excited? So once again, I'm starting out with 10 kilograms. Oops, I'm not writing. 10 kilograms going a speed of five meters per second. Well, that's easy math, 50. So this has zero. I can put a plus zero, but there's not really a point. Afterwards, um, well, let's see what happens afterwards. Well, I know I have a 10 kilogram moving at some speed, but then I'll have a 20 kilogram moving at some speed, possibly, we'll see. And let's just let her rip. Boo, there we are. Oh man, things are moving. Look how fast that sucker's moving, would you? All right, so for speeds, the yellow one is still in the positive direction. So that's still going to be the 3.33 3 meters per second. But once again, this is going backwards. So I might got to make sure that's a negative 1.67 meters per second. All righty. How does the beginning momentum compare to the ending? I know it's 50 to begin with. What do I have at the end? All right. So that's four trials so far. Let's do lucky number five. All righty, so I'm clearing all this stuff out, all my drawings. For my fifth and final trial, I'm gonna get crazy, guys. I want you to do an angly one, one that's not head on. Let's do the same values. Let's go off center by 25 centimeters. I like it. All righty, guys. So I'm pretty excited, but let me start marking some things in case they don't tell me my, well, it says 10 and five, I can remember that. So I'm starting with 10 kilograms um, times five meters per second. The yellow one is moving not at all, so that's still a zero. Afterwards, I'm gonna have a 10, and I'll still have a 20. And here we go. Woo, and look at, oh man, oh. <laughs> I made it complicated, didn't I? All righty. Um, 
So here's the trick. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna restart that one because it's it's doable, but it makes it a little more complicated than I wanted it to look. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna lower this down to about. Let's go with. Let's go with ten. We'll be off center by ten. All right. Same story, different verse, kind of like the first, still same startup. I'm just a little off center. And bam. All righty. Um, and you notice they're kind of going off at a, a different direction. So once again, I am going to back this up a little bit because that's going to make your math. I wasn't even really paying attention that close. So let's back this sucker up and Let's make this mass the same because I want easy math when I'm doing this angly stuff. All righty. So now they're both 10. I'm going to make it easy math. And finally, for the final one, so this is going to be a 10 over here in a moment. Here we go. All right. It's going to be a little bit easier. So the tricky thing is I can't just do the 0.83. Okay, let me do this. I cannot just put in um, a 0.83 and get that sucker out of there. And then a 4.93 for this one. And do it the same way because they're in different directions. So because they're in different directions, sure, I started off with 50. I want to see what I ended with. So this is where you're going to have to have a vector diagram. You're going to have to have a vector diagram. Now, the nice thing is they tell you what the angle is there. So on this one, you're going to have to draw out on the second one. So if this is the zero degree angle, you're going to have to draw it out. Now, um, it wasn't moving very fast. So it's not, it's a 0.83 there, right? So that's going to be times 10 and 8.3. So I've got an 8.3 going this way. And then for the yellow, it's much greater. It's almost 10 degrees below the horizon, almost 10 degrees. Shooting off this way. And that's going to be this. Remember, this is a 10 times the 4.93. Glad I picked 10. Makes for easy math for this old guy. So this is 49.3 kilogram meters per second. So here's where it gets a little tricky. Um, I'm going to have to add these things in head to tail, slide these over. If you remember what we did, the parallelogram stuff. And then for my final answer is going to be swing right there. So this is going to be the trickier one is how do you add these two vectors together? Well, that's the 80. And this is, the, remember, this is the 80.4. And this is the 9.59. So we're going to add those two together. And it is a little tricky because everything is not nice and neat. So you can do your x and y components, add your two x's together, add your two y's, and see what happens in the pink and see how this final momentum right here on the parallelogram compares to my 50 starting. All right, that's it. This last trial does make it a bit hard. Yep, it does. All righty. Well, enjoy that, guys. This is your video for the Curling Stone Momentum Lab straight out of the Great White North. All righty. So clearing all those drawings. Stopping this video, Delio. Stopping the share. And enjoy.